please introduce myself. Hey, my name is Ahmed Ezzel. I'm social professor of Department of Science, Dover University in Egypt, which is located in Alexandria City. And so please don't speak uh, very much English because I'm from Egypt and I learned English in Italy. So, <laughs> what is the sense? <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, and also I'm a little bit lucky because I'm the last speaker for the conference. So, uh, when I text you an email, I just say hi, I'm the last speaker, so you can recognize me. No? Okay, so we uh, today are going to give. Uh, Speak about bioactive uh, milk peptides. Uh, okay, I uh, was explaining, I was uh, trying to make uh, a sample experience here because I have changed my presentation the last time because I found that the majority of the people is not uh, full science. <coughs> so I found that giving a general seminar would be uh, more fine. So here we are giving some something like general speak. Uh, bioactive milk peptides. So, just we go to the definition of milk bioactive peptides. It's biological active peptides, our uh, functional peptides, are food derived peptides that in addition of their nutritional <coughs> value exert physiological effect in the body. So, we all know that protein is very important for, uh, as a nutritional uh, material, but uh, biological effect or functional effect is additional uh, value for protein. So, like what is physiological uh, function of milk? Uh, first is uh, for uh, cardiovascular system, which can work like antihypotensive, antioxidative, anthropogenic, and the hydroclostridine. What else? Nervous, nervous system, can work like opioid, even agonist or antiviral activity. Also working like the digestive system. So it's uh, mineral binding, beta fibrillation, and also in anti -diabetic. And finally, in the immune system as well, it's all work like antimicrobial, catamidiology, and immunobiology. So, if we are talking about this too much benefits for the peptide, we would like to know how to get this biotype peptide. Most of the release biotype in milk, hydrolysis by logistic design, or fermentation by the <coughs> starter, or using a risk by the design is driven from microorganisms of land, and finally, it's combination between fermentation and digestive enzymes. So, just we have here the previous source of milk protein. This is incorrected uh, <coughs> bifide. So, bifide bifide is just a um, uh, little uh, amino acids. It's interacted in normal protein, so uh, with the standard culture, probiotic or GMO, with the fermentation, we can release the bioactive file also by using hydrolysis in vitro, by the just enzymes, or also by uh, protein enzymes, we can get uh, the bioactive file. Also, a combination with the just enzymes and normal, this is like in vivo, we uh, have the bioactive file. So, this is uh, some different strategies to. Uh, Use fermented milk or to get fermented milk with a uh, high amount of uh, fermented uh, products with uh, nutritional value of uh, bioactive peptides. <coughs> so, this is some examples of uh, the enzymes we use to produce uh, bioactive peptides. So, for example, if we are using casein, we can use strepsin, strepsin. So, this is a fragment which is uh, have a bioactive activity, like for example, you see in heritage, uh, if we are working like upper swan casein with using cumucin, trypsin, trypsin, cumucin, we have different fragments here, fractions with different uh, activity. Also, if you change, we have different. So each each protein with different enzymes will have different fragment with different uh, activities. So if you are using microorganisms. So, for example, this this is a substrate like milk, so milk whey or something like that. It's different uh, lactobacillus strains, uh, and also when you are using some specific strains, we have uh, uh, different activity like AC infectivity, immunotherapy. You can see also here different also. This one is most famous activity. I mean. So, we have here different 
different strains, multiple syllables, circuit code or something like that. Uh, here is just a combination between uh, the fermentation and the digestive system. I mean, here, if you can find this one, a uh, commercial dairy starter, which are uh, like yogurt, for example, uh, if they weigh or casein, they don't have uh, activity, no SE inhibitor activity. But we need digestive, so with the enzyme in the digestion system, will be uh, activity. So you will have to convert from uh, non-activity to activity after the digestion system. So it's a combination between fermentation and digestive system. Okay, so uh, large-scale peptide reduction. I mean, when we have that, they discovered that uh, uh, the right peptides have a lot of benefits that we have discussed before. So they start to bake it in a larger-scale production. Uh, and this is have some examples of uh, the new production way, chemical senses, enzymatic senses, and of course, combined DNA technology. So this is new some technology to re uh, produce bioactive peptide, commercial use. This one was uh, one of our work. I am working with the Italian team models. So this is just what uh, an example of our study. Well, this study we were comparing uh, production of bioactive peptides from different types of milk, like cow, camel, goat, sheep, but also just was comparing uh, the different nations between them. Okay, by the availability of the active fight, this is one of the most important points because uh, to get the, the, the nutritional effect of effective of uh, bioactive fight, we need a specific sequence of amino acids. So if we get this amino acid sequence, what goes on after the utilization? So maybe the enzyme in the stomach will really work out this uh, uh, peptides, so it will not release their uh, uh, FP. So it's very important to protect the bioactive peptide against the enzymes and the change of pH and acidity of this material. So this is some technology uh, to protect the, the bioactive peptide, like in the encapsulation of bioactive peptide. Application of bioactive peptides, different application of the same. Food and intermediate products. So, for example, here, uh, I like that we have Japanese here. A uh, lot of product in Japan is uh, full of bioactive peptides, like uh, cow. This is uh, the name. So, it's from soap milk, it's containing some bioactive peptides. We can just see the effect is lowering with blood pressure, uh, prevent dental care. So, uh, also, here is something I would like to show you is um, okay, a lot, a lot, a lot of. Uh, in Holland, in Sweden, Norway, and USA, Japan, Japan, Poland. Yeah, most some something here, chewing gum. You know, chewing gum with bioactive peptide. Like the most famous one tried in Easter. I think that some people know that. So it's it's a preventative care. Also see here's some, some something like to have um, if you want to sleep well, I mean uh, yeah, help to sleep with her here. Something in Holland, it's, it's a some bike besides drink, so you can take it and have a good sleep. What else can bioactive fight involve in batching and presenting food using bioactive fight? We have speak before about uh, how post harvest and how to produce uh, uh, packages. In, uh, in a way, edible or non edible packages. We can involve bioactive peptides also for its uh, antimicrobial effect. So it's very impressive work to uh, direct the peptide incubation in the polymer or by coating the polymer. So we have two effects here. The first one is you are ignoring the, the microbial to grow in the, in the package and also to help the, the product uh, from the fungi and bacteria. So this is the way which we can use uh, synthesized light with fine information, a uh, cooking surface, or even by employing on thermal surface. To so make the application of bioactive device, one of the most favorable for me. But before that, the words, I just want to uh, to explain what's in vitro uh, against in vivo. All the majority of the studies was in vitro studies, so a lot of um, experiment was done on in vitro, in vitro, in vitro. So. Uh, the specific in vivo uh, experiment for the bioactive peptide just confirming that bioactive peptide and hypotensive peptide 
mineral buying in retired antimicrobial impact. This is not confirmed with, with the in vivo experiment. So first we go to the, the first one, antihypertensive pipe. This is already in, uh, in, uh, in you can find it in the pharmacy for antihypertensive, and we'll just explain for you that okay, by going to uh, at uh, 2025, we'll have like 1.5 billion for starting uh, from hypertension. So the hypertensive prepared are suitable alternatives since they are relatively cheaper to use and have no side effect. This is the most important. So you can take it safely. So just I will explain how it works. This is the system. Uh, here is a liver which is uh, released the angiotensin uh, gene and it is converted to angiotensin 1. And until here, it's okay. The problem is for this enzyme, which is uh, released from lung and kidney, and it's converting angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 will make a lot of problem for your body. So, here is our bioactive reptile, which is going to stop the ACE uh, releasing. So, this uh, chart will not be completed, so we will have stop here at angiotensin 1, and it's okay. Commercial interval, you can find in pharmacy now, like uh, Capitol, uh, Zephron Polyer, and April, Campanel, it's, it's all commercial <coughs> product. Uh, this one is really the most famous one. So just you can see here, like, uh, an amylopeptide, like valine, proline, proline, or azolocyte, proline, I will see for inquiry. So this is by active type which are uh, related to uh, hypertensive activity. Dental care, yes, dental care is too much now famous with also by active type, natural component, like I what I said before, like extra care, like trying to chewing gum, like some other other will say. Just all I want to explain something here, like um, okay. Uh, this is we call demoralization. So when you are eating some uh, food, like carbohydrates, something like that, fermentation in your uh, dental, it will uh, uh, increase acidity and decrease the pH. So uh, starting to have demineralization from calcium and phosphorus. So we are using dental care like bioactive bite to remineralization the dental with calcium and phosphorus. This is one of the, uh, also Japanese, it's a dental care like with casein for protein, so it's containing bioactive uh, bit part. And this is commercial product you can find. Also, additional to uh, the dental care with remineralization, we can have antimicrobial dental care product. It's also like kerosene, which is uh, casein, it's a fragment from casein, or kerosene, which is fragmented casein in, uh, in addition to uh, zinc. So, this is for dental care as well. Antimicrobial peptides is very famous now. Uh, okay, this is some examples of antimicrobial uh, peptides like uh, isradine, casidine, casidine to led to therapy and led to not its natural compound. So you can use like um, antimicrobial. This is a fragment of micro protein. So for, for, for example, this fragment one, you can say name like amino acid one to amino acid twenty three. So this is a different name. And this is a pathogen which is uh, affecting with this, uh, for example, left green B and left to green. So it's a pathogen like Bacillus, E. coli, and uh, Bolivias, Rhyophilus, Philococcus, so Salmonella is really so. Okay, so it's, uh, there's different models for using a microbial diactive to fight. That's what it's true. This is the model. And this uh, carpet model, these models are working uh, together in, um, uh, in the type of lab membrane, so they are picking the membrane of the pathogen. And also, we have something which is not no action with the type of uh, blood membrane, but it targets the microorganisms like in this way. So, yeah. So, the, the, the difference is going on inside the microbes. And they start to process group inhibition of nutric acids, synthesis, protein synthesis, enzyme activity, and cell wall synthesis. So they make damage for the microbes. So, conclusion <coughs> Micro protein contains various good sequence extracting different bioactivities. 
Vector impact release from microbial E during natural fermentation and or hydrolysis by protein enzymes or by digestive enzymes in vitro. Few reactive types have proven effective in animal models and human studies and commercial products have been launched in the market. More clinical research is needed for establishing the mechanism of action of potentially clinical peptides and synergistic action with potential microbes, especially. Make it right by diets with diverse reactive over promising approach to pregnancy control and treat lifestyle related disease, conditions so regular diet. And thank you for attention.